Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to do the unboxing of Quests and Cannons. It's uh, for one to six players, 20 minutes per player, and I believe it's 14 plus. So we'll just go jump into it and do the unboxing. So it's a pretty heavy board game, so or box. So let's see if we uh, uh, there's a lot of components in this game. I will say that. So this is the rule book and it's quite long. So you have your table content story from beneath the surface of the ocean, a set of mysterious islands arise and mystifies the seafaring travelers of Marahim. Strange happening begins to unfold across the world. So you got your story, you have your overview, completing quests, following maps, attacking rival ships, objective. You have your components. You have your setup, map building system, overlay maps, setup, free for all map layouts, two player, three player, four player, five player, six player, two versus two, three versus three, two versus two, versus two, picking champions and setting up player boards, gameplay, Type of space, exploring islands and quests. Gather, complete map clues, outposts, star and spaces, train posts, loot cards, attacking. We have uh, firing cannons, sinking, winning the game. Solo and co op, return example. So there's many variation modes to this game. Three turn example, continue, and credits. A lot of credits. You have your design, play testing, and rule book. Okay, so we have that. There's nothing in the back. So we have some components here. Now there's nothing in the back. here of course this is a uh, believe it preview so the components might change I like the character designs. I believe this is the player board. And as you can tell, it's extremely thick. You can see by my finger. And it goes pretty deep in. It's extremely well made. It's probably one of the best uh, player board I've seen. So each player gets it. So should have six. And next we have some components. I'm just going to look at a few of them. So we have uh, the ship cell. So 
We have cannons. And I believe there's a crate. And that's pretty much it. Yep, they're all the same. Okay. We're gonna look at the cards last. We have a whole bunch of dice. And there's a, uh, here I'll show. There's little pieces. I don't know what that signifies since uh, I get to read the rule book. Sure that's okay. Here we have some more. And we have dice. Really extremely nice dice. We have some clear tokens, transparent. Uh, let's see, a lot of stuff in this little thing. Yeah, we'll just take it out. I don't want to mix with the other stuff, but we'll just take some of the stuff out. Okay, so. Some more characters. And we have some uh, little token or a little, I don't know what they are. One, I'm guessing this is to um, place the, on the characters so that they could be standing. So let's put this all back. Don't want to lose any of it. And some of them have plus 15. Oops. Kind of tight in this little uh, Ziploc. Oh, missed some. It's extremely tight for the amount of pieces in here. This game definitely needs a tray or uh, some organization. Otherwise, pieces are just going to continuously get lost or misplaced. Here we have, uh, looks like the currency. So we have uh, one, threes, and fives. Here we have, uh, let's look into it. Okay, so we have canvas, we have lumber, so obviously resources. We have gems, metal, there's the gems. Let's obviously resources. Okay. Canvas. So pretty much the same thing. So you got lumber, uh, canvas. In the back it has like a little uh, question mark. So, okay, so now we have, uh, yeah, they need to 
Okay, we have the pieces. I'm guessing these will be turned. And then we have these pieces. some of them. And they have little tracks and spots right there. Okay, I'll put these uh, back, got to organize it. Just gonna look at the cards now. So we have uh, three decks of cards to look at. We have the Gilwan monster. So this is like a chess, merchant lucky coin, bag of fog, spell scroll of Hapistons. And so we just have pretty much loot cards. Cannon Loader, Greedy, let's go through these very quick, Soothing Harp, so these are obviously the loot cards, as indicating the back of them. They're well designed. So next we'll look at this deck of cards. And here we have man the cannon. Oh, these are quest cards, it looks like. Okay. So here's the back. And so you have different quests. And they pretty much have a uh, objective, deliver to, reward. So you can see the, how they look. And we'll just go through them really quick. See if there's any different variation of it or um, design or different ways to, here we have. Okay, so here we have a different way of completing the objective. Okay, last deck of cards we're gonna do. And that should complete the unboxing of the video. Okay. Okay, let's see what this is. Map clue. Um, Obviously this is a uh, player aid cards. Okay, so you have your player aid cards, which also give you information. Move, gather, attack. So those are the three obviously that you do. Your outpost. Train post. Okay, so these are the map clue. Here, I'll show the first one. And so, pretty much while at shore, spend one to complete this map clue, then draw a new map clue, gain, and it tells you what you gain. So pretty much all the map clues are similar. There's no, um, difference just uh what you have to do to pretty much gain it okay so that's the unboxing of uh
Quest and Cannons. Um, looks like a really fun game. There's a lot of variations, a lot of maps, a lot of everything. And so this is a big game. It, the box is heavy. Um, I can say that set times probably going to take a while. I'm guessing between 15 to 30 minutes, depending on, you know, if you're doing it by yourself or someone setting up, help you set up. So I might be wrong. It might be 10 only, but we'll see. Um, I really like the design and everything. The game definitely needs a tray or something to organize it. It's um, pretty much way too scattered and pieces are just going to be lost or bent. So hope you like this video. If um, you like the video, please like, subscribe. My social media description is going to be down below. I'm going to have the information of where to get the game also in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.